According to a statement published by the US Army on April 19, 2022, the US Army announced the award of 10-year Film Fixers Prize follow-on production contract to Sixor for the manufacture and delivery of the two next-generation squad weapons variations called the XM5 rifle, which is called MSCX Spear, and the XM250 automatic rifle called by Sixor 6LMG and the 6.8 common cartridge family of ammunition. My name is Paul, I'm with Sig Sauer. So what we have in front of us today are the two submission guns that we have for Next Gen Squad Weapon Program, as well as the ammunition. The MCX Spear is our magazine-fed submission, and the MG 6.8 is our belt-fed submission. At the 6.8, at the velocities that uh, the government is asking for, with a grain projectile that they've chosen, uh, is very effective at range. So we'll start with the M6 Spear. It's your typical M4 platform. If you look at this from the outside envelope, it really doesn't look much different than any other assault rifle that's on the market today. A lot of the things that we had to do to the gun are internal to the weapon, and we left the outside of the weapon so that soldiers that already know AR-type platforms can transition into this weapon easily. We go to full auto and then semi. We also incorporated a side charging handle into this weapon system. It's transitioning infantrymen to belt-fed soldiers. Belt-fed soldiers are comfortable with an infantryman gun. The side charging handle is extremely nice. It keeps you on target. It keeps your trigger hand free to do the business end of things while you manipulate the weapon with your offhand. And you also have the traditional ambi charge here as well. We didn't get rid of that, we kept that. So 6.8 ammunition is a very abusive round of fire. So the velocities of your carrier group are increased. Here we have our submission for, for belt-fed machine gun. Again, side charging handle, right? It detents to the outward position. You charge it when you return, non-reciprocating. When you return the charging handle to the forward position, you actually get rid of that catch point. So we have a spring detented closed and detented out. Gives you the nice options. We kept the five position extendable stock, right? Also side folding. So we go to full auto first and then semi. So that's our, uh, M, again, M4 style controls, M4 grips, M4 stocks. So the transition's nice from an infantryman to a belt fed soldier. We have our 45 degree mounts on this. Again, a, a requirement that we were needed to submit the guns with. Bipod stows in the forward position or the rear position, it doesn't matter, spring loaded in either position. We have two position gas setting on this gun as well. With the same performance that you expected on the infantry squad weapon, you also get out of the belt fed weapon. So we can load this with our side folding feet cover. We can actually load this with the feet cover down. No need to lift the cover to load the weapon. So if you're in a threat situation, you've fired out your, your ammo, you need to change, you would simply release the magazine, install a new magazine, and jam the belt in and back up and running. 